William Castlin created the Castlin font in 1722. In 1757, Baskerville was created. John Baskerville used William Castlin as his inspiration. He developed his own method of working, resulting in a bright woven paper and dark inks. As printers would not willingly reveal the methods within their printed shops, Baskerville followed other printers closely and made the same purchases as them in hopes of setting up the same press. Baskerville was a big experimenter, and this routine resulted in the development of higher standards for presses altogether. Baskerville worked for years on his font, developing and perfecting. Baskerville was accused of copying William Castlin, and when Baskerville revealed his new font, the public hated it. No one accepted the font, and it was even said to give people headaches. Baskerville hid the font away, hoping it would never be found again. After all of Baskerville's hard work, he passed away in 1775. He died without recognition for his font. Years and years go by and Baskerville is forgotten along with his font. Then, in 1917, the font was rediscovered and redesigned. Modern revivals have added features, such as italics with extra or no swashes, or bold weights, that were not present in Baskerville's original work. Now it's 2016. The font is now included in every Apple Mac, along with the Canada logo, many books, and the Metropolitan Opera logo. If only John Baskerville were alive to see this.